Welcome to another edition of Modern Dallas TV. I'm Jeff Levine with ModernDallas.net. This week, we stop by Kessler Woods and visit a modern. It feels like a treehouse. We visit Illum Gallery and talk to Ron Radwanski about their show with Ed Hall. And Modern Dallas Cool Spaces visits Napa Home on Oak Lawn, a perfect venue for your holiday gifts. Stick around for the calendar, the art scene, and enjoy this edition of Modern Dallas TV. Mary Thomas Gallery is a contemporary fine arts gallery offering collectors, designers, and patrons exciting and visionary art. Located in the vibrant Dallas Design District, the gallery space provides opportunities to inform, instruct, and inspire art collectors. Rotating exhibits feature regional, national, and international artists whose works may be found in private, corporate, and museum collections. Please visit us at 1110 Dragon Street or at MaryThomasGallery.com. So Modern Dallas Real Estate is here again in Kessler Woods, and we're here with uh... I would say the dawn of Kessler Woods, well, David thank, Griffin. Thank you, Jeff. I appreciate that. As you know, I actually live in Kessler Woods. I know Woods, that. So I, I particularly uh, I am enthusiastic about the neighborhood. Well, it's a wonderful neighborhood. And, you know, every time we come into one of these homes that you've listed, it's another wonderful experience. Every home in Kessler Woods is truly unique because all of them were custom built. They're all architect designed. And because the topography varies so much, we, this one happens to be on a creek, and so the lot gently slopes down to the creek. And so each architect has the wonderful uh, challenge of, of, of designing a home to very unique topography. We, and you know, we're rich in topography in, in North Oak Cliff. Absolutely. What's, what was the vision for this particular home? Because I mean, you know, the last one and the other one, and even yours is so different, but mm -hmm. this has got such a, a unique sculptural feel. Well, this was commissioned by the original developer, Matt Holly, and the architect is Patrick Hammers. He's done three or four houses in the neighborhood. And I don't know what the program was for the house, but obviously it's, it seems to me that the, the goal was to create a tree house uh, because we're in the living room that's cantilevered over a downstairs outdoor patio. Uh, and we're looking out literally into the trees. And the wonderful thing about modern architecture is that you can put windows wherever appropriate. You're not dictated by a period style. And so if there's, if there's a view there or a view here, you just take advantage you of it. You capitalize, absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. So tell us a little bit about some of the features and benefits of this home. Well, this home, you know, it's a very spacious home. It's about 3,700 square feet. It's four bedrooms, four and a half baths. It has a European Italian Boffi, that's B-O-F-F-I kitchen with Mila appliances. Um, so it's, uh, and two very, two or three nice living areas. So it's, it's a home that uh, could accommodate uh, a large family or a wonderful entertaining uh, or a couple that has lots of guests. But you know, beyond the home, I mean, this is a beautiful home. As you can see, we, it's starting to be winter here. <laughs> Who well, knew? Are, it's starting to turn a little it's bit. It's turning a little bit. But you know, Oak Cliff, Kessler Woods, what brings people to this neighborhood? You know, it's interesting you ask that. I actually grew up in University Park. My parents lived in the same house for 55 years, and we lived over there until my mother passed away. And uh, uh, my spouse and I, we said, you know, where would we, if we just moved to Dallas as adults, where would we we'd be attracted? And we just thought the Kessler neighborhood, North Oak Cliff, the topography was so beautiful. You know, we're just a stone's throw from the Stevens Park Golf Course, which is, I feel like I'm on my English country estate in the early morning if I decide to go walk there because there's hills, you have a marvelous view of downtown, the creek, this, the creek here, it's interesting, uh, it's a spring-fed creek. And so, uh, you know, a lot of creeks in Dallas are actually just runoff. So this is always moving, it's, it's uh, uh, never stagnant. Uh, so the creeks, the golf course, uh, we're 1.2 miles to Bolsa Mercado, which is a must uh, for dinner, uh, often in our house. House, We're just, you know, a, a little, that's just a few blocks from, of course, uh, Bishop Arts. Um, we, we are actually three miles from downtown, so it's, it's a very convenient neighborhood. Of course, Kessler was, uh, at Stevens Park, were planned as the premier neighborhoods just south and west of downtown originally. And it's, it's a beautiful area. We've spoken to a lot of people who live in Oak Cliff, love Oak Cliff, don't want to leave Oak Cliff. And you've got the Kessler Theater, the Texas Theater. There's a lot of development coming up over here. Well, the funny thing, you know, we say, you know, uh, uh, we, we rarely in the evening 
cross the river on the other side, like probably the people on the other side don't cross the river so much to, uh, to come over this way, although they do like to come over here to eat. But there's just so much to do. Once you're home, uh, you just, you, there's no uh, desire really to, to leave uh, uh, this wonderful, beautiful neighborhood. Well, Kessler Woods, Oak Cliff, it's a magnificent part of town. Thanks for taking the time. Always good Appreciate to see you, Dad. And thanks for the great work you do with your modern Dallas. Uh, thank um, you for all the support. <laughs> people tell me they love going to see your website and Wonderful. see what's going on in the modern world. Well, that's great. And you can see this listing at davidgriffin.com or you can visit our website at moderndallas.net. Okay. Hope to see you. Come, come see this wonderful house. You got it. Thank you. Okay. <laughs> thanks. Experience LED at Lights Fantastic Pro, our sponsor on Modern Dallas TV. Lighting is changing at warp speed and there's definitely an LED revolution going on. You'll see a curated selection of some of the coolest new LED fixtures from some of the best brands around the world. Visit their 12,000 square foot showroom minutes from the new Nebraska Furniture Mart in Louisville off the Sam Raven Tollway. Come see for yourself how lighting can enhance and change your next project. Modern Dallas Art is here with uh, gallery owner Ron Radwanski of Illum Gallery. Ron, this is a wonderful show with Ed Hall. Tell us about Ed. Ed's a wonderful artist. He's what we call a minimalist artist. He's in that school of thought where everything is very, very uh, simple. Uh, the pieces that you see like the one behind us here and done in the azure paint, if you look closely, you see almost like an orange cast. And if you look even closer, you see black, you see green, you see olive. But it takes the viewer a study of looking actually at the piece and seeing the scrapings and the markings. Uh, many of his pieces are done on board. Uh, they're also done on canvas. And the canvas is quite weighty where it's layered and layered and layered. And then he goes through his motions of how he, he goes through to get the effects that you see. Uh, he's also poignant for his very large pieces that you see here, which are really quite monochromatic. He has one piece that is a, almost like a jet black, but if you study it long enough, you notice the midnight blues, you notice the nuances of the azures, you know, all the colors that you think you're seeing, you actually are seeing, but they're just coming through in a very different way. So what's the theme of the show? The theme of the show is basically his, his minimalist you know, look. And we, we didn't title the show per se because there's so many different bodies of work. Uh, he has a, a black and white series. He has a series that you see here in color. And down at the end of the gallery there, he also has color washes that he's done. They're really wonderful. And they're just on board and they're a lesser expensive price point, but they are wonderfully done just like these pieces. So a couple of things. What's it been? Ed hails from Kansas City. Uh, he was a graphic designer there and worked for Halls in Kansas City, which was a department store there, and came to Dallas and has been painting now for several years and uh, has really been a freelance artist out there. And a lot of people recognize his work, but we've been one of the first galleries in some time to have his work as a body of work. Uh, people have seen his pieces individually, but to see everything en masse like this at a show. In fact, we had a piece on the back wall that was done like the Sienna here and we sold that the night of the show. So it was, it, it's dramatic work, but very simple. And that works perfectly in a modern home. Oh, it's perfect for a modern absolutely. home. Absolutely. Or a traditional home. Oh, yeah, well, could go as well, yeah, absolutely. Tell us a little bit about the uh, philanthropic work you do with each of your shows. Every show and every month we do, we let the artists pick out some type of charity that helps out the organization and the community. And Ed, uh, both of us have rescue dogs, and we thought, what a perfect opportunity. Dish Restaurant was kind enough to let us use their patio, and we had five dogs adopted that night, along with some cats and some kitties. And uh, all some proceeds from the show through the end of the month, through November 21st, will benefit uh, the Dallas Animal uh, Shelter, Dallas Companion Project, and Cat Matchers. So for those of us who have a soft spot for animals and art, come on and see us. Absolutely. It's a great show. Thank you. Uh, you can see it at the Illum Gallery. Where are you located, Ron? We're at 4123 Cedar Springs. We're in Suite 107. And our zip is 75219. And you also can visit us on our new website, illumgallery.com. And that's spelled G-A-L-L-E-R-I-E. -E. Well, thanks a lot for having You're us. Welcome, John. It's a pleasure. And it's right next door dish, if you're familiar with Cedar Springs and across the road from Kroger. And complimentary valet parking as well. Yeah. Thank you.
Modern Dallas Cool Spaces visits one of our favorite stores, Napa Home, located on Oak Lawn Avenue. Established in 2001, they are definitely purveyors of unique products that fulfill desires to enhance one's living space, and they pride themselves on offering stylish solutions for everyday living, entertaining, and gift giving, as well as a wonderful selection of gifts for the holidays. They source from around the globe to offer outstanding craftsmanship, innovative design, contemporary functionality, and the highest quality of goods. In addition, they have a wonderful selection of lighting and furniture pieces, and one of their most successful items being a glass fireplace screen. One of our highlights was the resin collection by Tina Frey Designs, which includes a resin bucket with leather handles, as well as they have a superb collection of fragrances and candles from Esteban and Penhaligon. Visit the store at 4012 Oak Lawn Avenue or at napa-home.com. One of the events that's near and dear to my heart is the 8x8 art exhibition and auction that's coming up at the Museum of Biblical Art on November the 18th from 7 to 10 p.m. I am co-chairing it with Bob Malafont and we have a wonderful array of over 100 pieces that are 8 inches by inches available at an auction where the starting price is $100. We have a selection of celebrity artists from around the country, some that you may be familiar with, Carol Burnett, Lily Tomlin, Chris Christopherson, uh, Dan Aykroyd, and a variety of local artists from Johannes Buchholz to Jeffrey Rosk, J.D. Miller, Pamela Nelson, and a slew of other wonderful artists. Please join us at uh, the museum. Tickets are $25. You can go to their website at biblicalarts.org for all the details. And we look forward to seeing you Wednesday night, November the 18th. To wrap up this week's edition of Modern Dallas TV on the art scene, the galleries come and go with openings and closings, but next Saturday evening, the 21st, there's a slew of galleries that are having their openings. If you want all the details, go to moderndallas.net and sign up to receive Modern Dallas Art News. Two big events on the 18th from 7 to 10 p.m., something that's near and dear to my heart. I'm co-chairing an event called the 8x8 event an auction at the Biblical Museum of Art, as well as the Cedars Open Studios on the 21st from 12 p.m. to 6 p.m. has their event, another wonderful event, Take the Family. On the calendar, we've got the Dallas Architecture Forum on November the 19th, brings in renowned architect Billy Tsien for a lecture at the Dallas Museum of Art, Horshaw Auditorium at 7 p.m. And our featured open house this week, 18007 Preston Court. You can see that on moderndallas.net, on our real estate page. And if you're in the market for a modern, mid-century modern, contemporary high-rise or loft, we simply have the finest moderns in Dallas. And for a little extra modern for the week, listen to our radio show, The Modernist, Radio for the Modern Human on KLIF, 5.70 a.m. with Jeff Mitchell and myself, Jeff Levine, at 2 p.m. You can hear it on the radio or on an iHeart radio app. And for this week, we appreciate, like every other week, you sticking around and being part of our show. Have a great week, and we'll see you later.